Hi everyone, I'm Ken McCulloch with Badger Popcorn and I would like to go over the piece of equipment that you just received which is a gold metal model 4211C caramel apple dip warmer. It's a twin warmer and um, after you unbox it uh, you should have a unit that looks just like this one right here and I want to note that you should also have received two insert bowls for it and one container of a gold metal caramel set. Once you have your unit up on a counter, it's just going to plug into a standard 115 volt power supply. Now on each uh, of the of the two bowls, there's a, you know, a lid on it. I'll just start out with the one on the right. You should have a locking ring that's up on the top. I want to show you how that works. When I want to take this off, you'll notice it's a ring that has a bubble on it. We want the bubble up. And there are tabs, three tabs, uh, in, on the side walls of the bowl. So one here, here, and here. And you'll notice there's just uh, an opening on the ring that you simply line those all up. And then that way the ring will come up and out. And I can take that out. Then uh, you should have in each bowl a ladle, a spring, a solid ring, and then you will notice that, and it may have come just like this, you will have two U-shaped bars in there. And there is, uh, and there is one set up like this for each of the bowls. Also, in one of the bowls, and typically in the left-hand side one, you should have received your owner's manual, which it's always good to review. This is also available electronically, both from Badger Popcorn and Todd Domain has a copy. And there is a warranty card in there. You had an opportunity to fill out your warranty card, like any piece of equipment that you purchase. That would be terrific. It does not require any postage. That will go right back to Gold Medal Products. I want to show you on the... Um, on the accessories inside of each bowl. First of all, I'll start out with these two U-shaped um, you know, brackets. These are for number 10 cans. If you were to put a number 10 can inside uh, of, your, um, of your unit, you would take these. There's one that has a slit at the top and one at the bottom. They simply interlock just like this. And the spring is used with this uh, bracket for number 10 cans. You'll see the spring has a tab that's on the bottom. There are two holes on the brackets. You would simply take your spring, start it through one of the holes, come through to the second one, and it would go together just like this. And if I had a number 10 can, I would be placing this inside of here. We'll be putting water inside of each of the wells. This is a water bath style warmer. If I'm using the number 10 uh, you know, can, it's gonna take about three and a half quarts of water. When I'm using my insert bowl, you'll find about two and a half quarts of water will suffice. So that's the volume of water you'll wanna put in when you're actually using the unit. So for your insert bowls, if you can put two and a half quarts of water in there, that should work well. Then I would just show you that if you were using a number 10 can, uh, the can would go in just sort of like this one is. It would just press down onto there and I would put the locking ring onto it. For festival, you'll be using your blocks or your paled caramel apple dip. So you will simply have to use this ring. So in the case of the, I had noted with the, um, the insert bowls, I will drop this ring in here and you would put in approximately two and a half quarts of water. And if I did that, I would drop my bowl into here and you would find that you would then take your locking ring again with the, uh, you know, the curved side up, find out where the three tabs are on each side and simply line up the notches that are on the ring. And once you have that in, just give that a twist and that secures everything into place. When we want to begin to use our unit, we would turn uh, the unit on. That's the green switch that's up on the front. And each of the two bowls has its own heat control. So you can see that they start with off and they can be turned clockwise to begin to heat. And typically speaking, for caramel apple dip, we want to be somewhere around 170 degrees. 170 degrees is a good temperature to get my dip to. If you get it much higher than that, if it gets to 180 degrees, uh, the dip is going to get kind of dark and it's going to be very hard to work with. 170 degrees is a good temperature. 
if you have a digital style thermometer or a, you know, a thermometer that you can put into there, um, this is one that I like. It's a candy thermometer and it also has a preset that you can preset in a temperature say 170 degrees and when it gets to uh, within 5 degrees of that it will start to beep and it will prompt you that your product is ready to use. So we would like to get that up to 170. Uh, you can use that dial style thermometer up on the uh, uh, or temperature control on the front but that may not always be exactly correct so uh, that may be a little high you'll have to work with that a little bit but that's how you would set up your temperature uh, you know in there um, and once you put your uh, your caramel apple dip into your bowl, you'll want to add some of the caramel set. Caramel set is a product that's going to add, uh, you know, shelf life uh, to the uh, you know the made apple. It's an emulsifier, and uh, it's going to keep that caramel on the apple, a properly prepared apple. And so what you'll do is you'll want to add one to two heaping tablespoons in each of the insert a full insert bowl of your caramel apple dip you can work with that a little bit but typically speaking it's somewhere between one and two heaping tablespoons in each of the bowls you'll mix that in with your ladle as your dip gets warm uh, so that you don't see the powder it's sort of a light powder and you'll put that in and then as soon as you see that that is all mixed in um, you should be ready to dip apples so make sure we have a properly prepared apple to room temperature uh, if it had, had wax on it we're gonna have to rub it a little bit and get that off of there um, so and make sure that you know, uh, that that apple is at room temperature so um, finally uh, when you are done uh, with your uh, you know prepping day for making caramel apples what you'll want to do uh, to clean it is simply wipe the top of the unit down it is stainless steel so if you have a, a nice clean cotton rag and um, if you want to use a soap you can uh, you know wipe off the top of there a nice stainless steel cleaner would be good as well the water that's inside of the well will start to get a little cloudy and that type of thing you're going to be adding water to it periodically as it condenses out of there so periodically just take a, if you can take a cup and scoop the water out of there wipe it all down and add some fresh water you know two and a half quarts again if you're using the insert bowl about three and a half uh, you know quarts if you're using the can um, and freshen up your water periodically and like I said just wipe down so we don't get a lot uh, of build up on the sidewalls and that should be all we have to do to take care of our unit. I recommend hanging out of the box uh, that you got it in so you can store it during your off season and put all your uh, you know accessories back into it just like it came packed and you guys should be uh, all set with regard uh, to your caramel apple program. If you have any problems or questions let us know. We appreciate the opportunity to work with you all. Thank you.